babes, in this video I'm going to be doing a Pia Mia makeup tutorial and I actually did not know about Pia Mia before Lucy and Lydia watched their favourites videos and on Summer in the City I was asking if I should get hooked on them and they were like yeah you need to listen to them and I was like okay so I did and I decided to do this makeup tutorial for you guys more than her songs I'm absolutely obsessed with her Instagram I think her Instagram is great I'm obsessed and she looks always on point I love her aesthetic I don't know she just looks on point like all the time and she's really really pretty and she's very very striking yeah guys I hope that you enjoyed the rest of the video first of all I'm really annoyed that I have always have to take off my glasses for videos because they glare on the ring light and the studio lights which is really annoying because I like my glasses and I can't see that much without them oh my god guys I'm so weirded out right now I just got home from Derby and me and my cousins and my sister we went stationery shopping for back to school which is <laughs> exciting but um, I was texting my cousin as I got home and oh my god this is so weird guys so my cousin's name is Patricia so I searched my contacts for Patricia and so I texted her and um, she says who's this lol and then I texted back saying I thought I just texted my cousin Patricia so, sorry who's this this is Mark I'm so confused as to who I just texted I'm so sorry I said I was looking for Patricia she said her name was Patricia as well but not the Patricia that I was looking for I said that my name is Mark Sapanta and she said she's never heard of me so it's clearly not my cousin so I'm so confused as to who I was speaking to like how did my iPhone text someone who was not even in my contacts I texted someone who's called Trish on my phone and it's like it's not even my cousin Trish though and then she texted me saying you want a dating site lol and I was like I don't even like girls and she was she thought that it was a friend texting her prank texting her and I was like I'm not prank texting you I'm so creeped out and then I just blocked her let's try and do a tutorial guys I've just done the brows so this is a little bit crazy what I actually used was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown I know that she uses taupe so that's what Pia Mia uses and I used OCC Skin Conceal in Y1 to redefine the eyebrows and now I'm going to be using my Giorgio Armani Luminous Soap Foundation in 6.25 all over the face And then I'm going to be using my Vichy Derma Blend in Nude to highlight the face. So I'm just going to apply that underneath the eyes. I'm drawing a semicircle on my forehead. On the nose, I'm going to draw an exclamation point. And under the cheekbones. And her cheekbones run a little bit lower than mine. I'm just going to sculpt my cheekbones a little bit differently. And then with my Tarte the Sculptor in number 2, I'm just going to contour the face. And I want to warm up my face a lot just because Pia's face is really, really warm. Makeup by Ariel, um, who is Pia Mia's makeup artist, she does a lot of the lines, I think. The brown contouring, so I'm going to try and do that to my face. She's got a really tall nose as well, so I'm going to try and replicate that on my nose. And then after that, I'm just going to be setting everything with my Real Techniques 100 brush and my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I swear, recently all I've been doing on videos is eating donuts. There we go. Okay guys, so Makeup Geek has sent me a bunch of the eyeshadows which I'm so excited for because Makeup Geek is everyone's favourite eyeshadows it looks like from Instagram, a lot of people are using it, makeup artists, everyone. So I'm so excited that I finally got my hands on some and oh, the 
is so good, guys. So Pia always looks like she's got a warm transition color in her crease. She doesn't do anything too dark, so I'm gonna mix in creme brulee and chickadee to warm up the crease. And I'm just popping that into the crease and apply it right into the inner part of the crease as well. I'm gonna be using In The Spotlight Foiled Eyeshadow and Flamethrower and I'm going to apply that with my fingers actually just because I feel like it gives a better effect rather than using a brush. I feel like a brush disperses the eyeshadow in a way that doesn't make it super super pigmented whereas your finger just makes it super <laughs> super metallic and shiny. And Pia always had something super, super metallic all over the lid. And sometimes Pia goes for a liner, sometimes she doesn't. But to redefine my eyes and to hide the lash band for my false lashes, I'm just going to be applying some liner. So this is the Elamasca Slick Stick Eyeliner in Mass. It's just a black. And what I'm going to do with this is just apply it from the halfway point of my eye until the edge. Just because I feel like Pia's eyes are a little bit more elongated and this is a way to make them look wider. I'm going to be using Chickadee again, apply that to the lower lash line. You don't have to apply a lot of this. I'm going to be using Mocha eyeshadow just to deepen up the inner crease just the tiniest little bit. For mascara I'm going to be using Miss Manga Mega Volume Lashes by L'Oreal. And Pia's lower lashes are so, so, so long. So I'm going to be applying some fibre mascara. And this is by Unique. I'm going to be applying so much of this on. Just because it makes my lower lashes look so, so long. And then for eyelashes, I'm going to be applying these mink lashes. These are from the brand called Top Lash. So that's the eyes done, you'll definitely be seeing me use the Makeup Geek eyeshadows in a lot more tutorials I think. And I'm going to be using the Elamasca Sculpting Palette now. I'm going to be using the shade Inceris, which is a yellow tone powder, and just highlight under the eyes. Now I'm going to be using the shade in Steel, which is a brown, and contour my face. For blusher, I'm going to be using NARS Blush in Angelica, which is a pink. And now for the highlight, guys. I'm so, so excited to show you this. And this is from Autograph. This is from Marks and & Spencers. And this is the Pure Luxe Highlighter in Golden Rose. Look at this highlighter. It's so amazing. It's so good. Oh my god, I love it so much. There's no specks of shimmer in it whatsoever. It's just metallic and it's amazing and it's really really pretty. It's really finely milled and I'm just popping that on the tops of the cheekbones. I'm gonna apply that to the tip of the nose as well and a little bit on the nose bridge and on the cupid's bow. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water from Lush just to make the powders look a little bit less powdery on my face. For my lip liner, I'm going to be using MAC Spice Lip Liner, which is so tiny. I've only got a little bit of it left. I'm going to try and replicate her lip shape as well. Once I've lined lips, I'm just going to fill it in using Coloured Rain Lip Paint in Mars. And to lighten that a little bit, I'm going to be using MAC Lipstick in Yash, which is a lighter nude. So this is the final look, you guys. I was actually staring at myself for quite a while, thinking something doesn't look quite right with this look. And I was thinking, how can I make myself look more like Pia Mia? But the thing is, I ain't Pia Mia. 
and I asked my friend Rupinda if it was okay and she said that I looked enough like Pia Mia so I'm gonna take her word for it and I added this little red bandana which is very Pia and this blonde rooted hair is from divaswigs.com and the lenses are from Desio Lens Innocent White and the jewellery is from Primark and I hope that you enjoyed the video guys please give this video a thumbs up because it really really helps me out so much when you click the like button and I actually want to know which celebrities you want me to do a makeup tutorial on next and this has been Mark the Prince of Vanity please subscribe for more videos I upload every Sunday and every Friday so please watch out for those and I hope to see you on my next video bye guys